What is up, everybody? Akiti, so you're back with some more Doki Doki Literature Club. My camera. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Reflection and then self love. Let's continue. Let me turn this off. There you go. Am I bothering you? No. Okay, I'm gonna just speed run to the part where it gets sentimental because I. This has gone far long enough. How do you get along with everyone so well? I always get into fights with people. Like first it was with Monica when I was into news at the club, and then it was you and now it's Yuri. And I'm always like, oh, that person's being a jerk, and if they just realized that, then we could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from the reality that everybody's a jerk to me because nobody likes me. And I don't, and I don't know why. I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. That's okay. You're a wonderful person. You deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has different ways they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes that makes it harder for us to understand each other. I think that sometimes sometimes we get lucky and we make friends who are really good at the same kind of communication. And it feels like you magically reconnect with them. But other times, even if both people are really nice, it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or to get the communication wrong. It's something that Yuri struggles a lot with, too. It can be really hard. It takes a lot of like reflection and self-awareness and vulnerability. I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. I always have to be the strongest. What do you mean? Tell me about that part of you. <clears throat> well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to, to people being mean to me. Like my friends. And I guess my dad. Like when I don't get good grades or even stupid things like even my room isn't clean. So what am I going to do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then it's just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So things have always, So things always have to be everyone else's fault. It feels like if something goes wrong and there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then I just get really angry and I find ways to blame everything, everyone else instead. Do you see yourself as better than Yuri? If I said that, then I would just sound really full of myself. No, our thoughts and our feelings are two different things. If we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them. We want to learn more about themselves. That's a part of vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have a feeling that, that we have feelings that we don't like. I, I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm so much better than her. That she's a judgmental know-it-all who's, who's stuck in her edgy face and that I'm just way above that garbage. But I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. Yeah. You are not your feelings, but you are not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. Amber alert. Oh, no. The timing is incredible. Dade County kidnapped child. Oh dear. I hope you guys find them. I, I, I really, him or her. I really, I really do. I really hope you do. Say that to yourself out loud. Fine. I'm not my feelings. The way I'd like to picture it is that those feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta see each other every day. But even if you can ignore each other, each other most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then. And it's gonna make you feel like poop. You can say it with the chest, like shit. So the other option is to get to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other, and maybe we can help each other for the better. How do you know so much about this stuff? I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Called depression. Depression? But you're like the happiest person I know. Yeah, that's usually how it is. The happiest person in the room is usually not the happiest. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. Oh, you little sweetheart. Oh, you little shit. We're all good people. You and Yuri and Monica. I think Yuri will eventually. La, 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 la. There you go. Boom. Boonsies. My back itches. Have I seen this already? Downstairs? I saw it in the ending cutscene, but not in the actual dialogue. All the way over here. I was looking for you. He's not yelling at me. Out. I'm not gonna yell at you. I want to say I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair for me to put every, everyone on the spot like that. Next time I won't just try jump, to jump in and solve everyone's problem. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. You're not mad at me? I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. I couldn't the idea. I can't even have a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Well, that's not what happened at all. Let's talk about this, okay? A lot of negative thought patterns and I can't get away from them. What kind of negative thought patterns? Like everyone hates me, especially Natsuki. Oh, that's terrible. I don't think Natsuki hates you. How do you know? 
Well, because Monica thinks back to the time that she herself found herself in an altercation with Natsuki. If Natsuki, Natsuki is just naturally defensive. I think she asks me when she feels the need to protect herself, but you know, she's really not a bad person. In fact, she can be really thoughtful and considerate. She just, well, I guess the way it works is that she wants to receive some degree of kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh, but that means the burden is on me. And I don't, I don't know how to say things that make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... It's okay, Yuri. You don't need to beat yourself up. I think anyone would, uh, would like you to, if they had the chance to get to know you. Unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talking to this anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. That's just what happens when I draw attention to myself. I took even said she found it more respectable when people speak their minds. So I did. And then she hit me anyway. That was enough to confirm my tears. My fears. Sayuri and I like you. We've gotten to know you a lot by now, right? Mmm. You can see the response. What do you think of Natsuki? I don't... I don't think about her. That's not what I meant, really. I just... Mm, I was just wondering if you had an opinion of her. I do. What is it? Natsuki seems to bring out the worst of me, and I feel really ashamed of it. I like to think of myself as a fairly sophisticated person, so for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior despite my tastes, that's just the worst kind of insult coming from someone like her. And it makes me think bad things about her. But everyone else seems to like her, so the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong, again. And my feelings about her are wrong. And I'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inc inconsequential. No, Yuri, feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. That's the thing. Feelings are never right or wrong, you know? They're just, they're just a state of being that we don't always have control over. But that doesn't mean that they have to control us. I feel like that's something I learned around when I first started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things, or we can just, you know, acknowledge that they exist and try to understand them better. I could never be mad at you for just feeling a certain way. It's about how you handle them. And I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. You reward a dejected expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature and so good with people. I feel like such a child in comparison. Oh, Yuri. I'm far from perfect, but these are learned skills. They didn't come naturally to me either. It's really hard to like reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from your thoughts. I just want to be a good person. Well, I think it takes a good person to get this far. That's not good enough. I want to be able to communicate it to her. Communicate what? How I feel. How it makes me feel frustrated and upset when she's so negative and dismissive of the things that mean so much to me. And how it... How it reminds me of me. Because I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone. I know that telling yourself you're better than everyone else is just a defense mechanism. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable. And I'm just tired of that getting in the way. I can't stand it when the pieces is disturbed like this. Yeah, you can't focus on your reading when the piece is disturbed, right? Because I... Because... The literature club should be happy for everyone. Thanks for your adoration. I feel like Sayuri must be rubbing off on me because I really want to hug you now. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. No, um, I mean... Well, if you wanted to, then I really wouldn't mind, so... Straight embrace. You're so gentle. And I love when you communicate your feelings. If you're lucky to get to see that side of you. And I'm sure Natsuki will too. I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter? What a great idea. Just because I'm not good at talking, especially under pressure. I always let my feelings get the best of me, and I forget to say all the important things, and I say things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Yuri's face hardens with determination. People don't naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality just isn't suited for that. <sighs> and I, w I wouldn't want it to be. But something I've learned is that friendships don't always just magically appear out of thin air. For instance, I never would have seen myself making friends for, with someone like Sayori. We're opposite in a lot of ways. But I'm afraid, but I'm friends with her because she's put so much effort into understanding me so that we can get along. I think it was the same with you. You both gave me a lot of time and patience. And I wonder if it's, if I, if it's the same way. <clears throat> I just waited that not. Uh, I was occupied myself with the fear to understand people. Friendship happens when you think about the other person, when you offer the time and effort to understand them and respect them and trust that, that they always want to be a good person. That's why I looked through my observations in the literature club. So it's kids are silent and you just hear her talking about people like this. <clears throat> a 
That's so sweet. I had no idea it meant that much to you. But as we make them better people, everyone has strength and weaknesses and the capacity to improve. First of all, improving oneself is reflecting its own awareness. With that, her confidence. Very shy girl with long pretty hairs wandering the bustling lunchtime hallways. <coughs> she doing lunch. Oh, it's Yuri. I was about to say, what? Okay. Writing a letter. Picture. Hey, you're left handed. That's neat. Uh, yeah. I don't have to worry about bumping your arm. Should I be reading this? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to get through this. I really, I actually, I'd really prefer others not to read it. I've done enough damage. You're really smart. Don't call it damage, please. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks, and all I got was real friends who value me. <clears throat> is that a joke? Of course it is. No, I love it. Please never change. We won't talk about the time. Will you be able to finish? Before the end of the day, probably. Nice. That's cute. There you go. Self-love. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. I know. I know. It's a long haul, but we're almost there. <clears throat> Oh, so it's like a continuation. Your letter was delivered to Natsuki. Okay. Let's see if I have any reason for coming here. What are you doing here? Um, I just gripped your book with enough force to work all the pages beneath the pressure of her thumbs. Well, what are you doing here? I just came to get a drink from a vending machine. The other one is out of the drink. Mm. <clears throat> it looks away. Some kind of iced tea, but suddenly right away she stands in place, she glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here, it's, it's creepy. I mean, that's not what I meant really, I mean, it's totally cool that it's your thing, so whatever, like, I can see how it suits you. Not because I think you're creepy or something, I didn't I didn't mean that either. You know, I'm just gonna stop talking, this seems like a good idea. It's okay, everything is okay. Find yourself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into interjection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase, has deadly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. Shakes her head. Takes a sip. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission, unless he doesn't say anything anymore. He just read or at least pretends to. And the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade away a little bit as time passes. Even without any words, it seems to mean at least something, though it's not clear what that may be. <clears throat> their empty drink bottle you coming today to the club i'm sorry for being so awkward i'm really bad at talking about this stuff i just can't for some reason i don't know why but i want to eventually there's no rush i promise thanks and it's the next day a pitch from the uh around the corner so it's a machine some kind of book as well oh you're here again well i just came here to read this because there aren't any, there aren't any people around here 
Oh, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here, I see. They don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Just don't worry so much about me. It's not worth it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts like how Monica can. She's good at these things. Not really. Also, I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just stuff that I have to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Saidi never seem to understand. Sometimes all you all you do is look at them wrong and they, they're all like, Oh, what's wrong? It's not everything okay? I just want to mind my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you, so you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. You don't need to reassure me or anything. I mean that. Plus, it makes sense that someone who doesn't talk a lot would make a good listener. Thank you. You're also nice. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's weird because I always thought of myself as someone who could just say whatever is on my mind. But I feel like that only works when I'm annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? You don't have to answer that. I'm just talking to myself. Yudi nods and remains silent. That's what you notice her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? Oh, um, well, a lot of reasons, but I just get stuck to it so easily. It's so immersive, like I want to be a part of it. I think there are a lot of things that people in life, uh, that people in real life, that about the people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated, especially when it comes to following social conventions or group interactions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wish that you could be friends with the characters in the, your books all the time. Like more than anything. Almost there, guys. Last one. Last one. Jesus. And I don't have to bother you during your long time anymore. I'm sure you have a lot of reading to catch up on. Yeah. I know that couple are basically nothing compared to all the stuff you've done for me, but it's the best I could do. So you can have the rest of them. So the box. You should save them for your other friends. But I made them for you. Why does she protest? I know. And I liked them very much, exactly as you thought. You succeeded. But I know you care about making your other friends happy too. And if this is the way you know how to make that happen, then I'm not going to take that from you. No, they were for making you happy. You make me happy. You're worth more than companies to some people. That's why they want to spend time with you and be your friend. Without warning, tears pour from Natsuki's eyes. She pu pulls her knees to her chest and starts sobbing into her arms. Natsuki, I'm such a bad person. I didn't mean to say something bad. You didn't. I just... She has to choke back herself. I just really hate myself sometimes. And it feels so wrong when you say those nice things to me. Like, I don't deserve it. I'm sorry. No, I am. I'm so difficult. I can't even think of even a single thing about myself that somebody would like. And I hated myself for bothering you during lunch. I just thought it was my chance to be a good person. Like, to be nice and do the things you wrote about in the letter. I knew if I tried in the club, Sayuri and Monica would be super annoying and make a huge deal out of it. You know? I think a lot of these negative... I, I think a lot of those negative things too about myself I never felt like a good person I always scrutinize everything I say and later I feel like I said all the wrong things and I just spend so much time thinking about myself hating myself and feeling like everything else everyone else must hate me too so I understand some of, the, of that through my own experience and that's why I wanted to write that letter and express my feelings it pained me to see those things in someone else that I saw in myself some tissues Monica told me that it takes a good person to reflect on those things. The desire to improve yourself, that makes you a good person, so don't worry so much. Also, there are things about you that people would like so. Like what? Like, like how you're fun for people to be around, and you're not shy, and you know how to make people laugh, and you're very passionate about things, and you know how to take the lead, and you care a lot about other people, and just a lot of things. Oh. Well, now you're making me feel a little embarrassed really embarrassed well you're the one who asked and don't you think I feel embarrassed every time I come here I always think it's the last time but then I keep coming back for some reason is that bad just really confusing I mean my friends and I go way back so just them all the time feels like I don't know feels like what maybe I'm scared that they'll get mad at me I really don't know what to do what would you do, hypothetically, if your friends were happy for you instead of mad at you? Happy for what? Happy that your new club is making you happy. 
Well, that's just not a fair hypothetical. What, what? I've always told myself that I don't rely on the approval of others to be happy. And I still feel that way, but I'm spending time with people who put me down whenever I don't have their approval. That's probably what's making me feel so confused. Because I'm threatened out of the things that should make me happy. So no matter what, it's like I have to be unhappy to be happy. It's making my head hurt. That must make it really difficult to feel comfortable with yourself. Being made to feel like you're wrong just for being the person you love. It really goes against everything I believe in, doesn't it? It goes against the kind of person I want to be. I'm fed up with it. I'm fed up with a lot of things. Presses her problems. I know it's best for me, but I keep convincing myself out of it. It's so much easier to be comfortably unhappy than it is to do something so scary. To do what? You know, to end it. With them? I didn't think you were actively considering that as an option. I wasn't until recently. It's just one of those things where, like, it's been a certain way for so long that you just get used to it. Like, so much of you has gone into it, so much that it feels like that's just how your life is. And throwing it away is like throwing away such a big part of your life. It makes you feel sick to think about it. It's just really scary. It's terrifying. What are you scared of? I don't know a lot of things. Like being alone. Not having anyone to talk to or hang out with. Not being able to replace what I have with them. And I don't want to... And I don't want them to hate me. And I'm scared they'll hurt me for going against them. Physically? Not physically, but... Natsuki. What? If anyone ever thinks to cause you harm... I will unleash hell upon them. <laughs> don't laugh at me. Sorry, I was just... I liked that. That's all. Oh. Well, I meant it. I know you did. Natsuki gives Yuri an, undearing, an endearing look. I needed it. Lapses, slides of box, just take them, okay? I, I don't want other people to have them anymore. Are you sure? Nuts. I'm sure. I will then. I'll enjoy them. Having so much cap cupcakes has never gained a damn pound? What the fuck is that shit, bro? I wish I could do that. That's not fair. I didn't see it. No, not yet. You're here first today. Mm hmm. And you brought reading material. Mm hmm. Oh, I don't sit beside her. It sucks when a good series has to come to an end. Like it's such a big part of your life, and then one day there's nothing left. <laughs> I felt that. I felt that a lot. It makes me feel so empty. Which I'm, I'm about to experience that myself. I'm in the last book of the series. That sucks. But there's also something satisfying about letting letting a story conclude. I don't know if I'd want it to go on forever. Maybe. But there's some things that I wish could. I agree. Uh, too false silent. You, you can't. You don't go out on the weekends, right? Excuse me. Like with friends at the mall, downtown, or whatever. I'm not a total student, you know. My bad for making exceptions. Well, I'm sure I go out less often than other people, like you and the others in the club. I don't really meet with friends and arbitrary spend time like that. I'm usually meeting with my board game group. Board game group? It doesn't matter. It's just some nerdy stuff. Why do you ask anywhere? I was just curious. I just realized that I couldn't picture it, so I was just curious. Yuri looks at Natsuki and realizes that she's shaking. Don't look at me like that. Sorry. I can't take this. Did I do something wrong? I did. I ended it. I texted them earlier telling them. And then I just blocked them because I'm afraid of I'm so afraid of their responses. And now it feels like I'm dying inside. Oh, that's I'm sorry. Totally unsure what to do, Yuri can barely find any words of support of support to offer. Heart beating fills the air. She speaks again, Brady above whisper. Help me. I feel sick and I want to hit my head against things. Please help. I can't take this. You may be having a panic attack. Slowly changes. I have experience with this, so I'll help you get through it, okay? Keep up breathing. She puts her hand on the shoulders. Can you feel my hands? Her shaking becomes much more apparent through Yuri's sense of touch. Yuri keeps her voice low and gentle. You're safe right now. You're in a good, safe place where nothing can hurt you. Nods once more. Although Yuri is only touching her shoulder, she can practice feel her racing pulse through the base of her neck. We'll do a breathing exercise together. All you have to do is listen to my breaths and breathe along with me. Let's breathe in now. Yuri takes a deep, slow breath. Beneath her hands, she feels Natsuki's shoulders rise as Natsuki takes a breath of her own, trying to mimic Yuri. They exhale together, although Natsuki's breath shakes on the way out. That's good. Let's keep going. We did one more and Natsuki joins her. They continue like that for a few more cycles while Yuri closed 
need monitors. Eventually, Yuri feels that Tsuki rests more of her ways into Yuri's palms. Let's focus on the physical world. All you have to do is focus on the feeling of your breaths going in and out. Ah, and the weight of my hands on your shoulders. You're in a safe place, you're in a safe and comfortable physical space. Minutes pass in silence. By now, the worst of it has passed, but Yuri is determined not to move away or two, and that's who he prompts her to. Lifts her head off her knees, and her breathing has mostly steadied. She stretches her arms. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to freak out. I don't know what my deal is. You don't have to apologize. This must be enormously, enormously stressful for you. Is that going to keep happening? It may, it may not. We can take measures to help prevent it in the future, but I think it will naturally get better over time. I don't think I could have gotten through that alone. You're not alone. From now on, you don't have to do anything alone. That's cute. As she says that, Yuri tenses up. It's rare for her to so openly share her thoughts. But something about Natsuki, of all people, makes it feel so much more natural to do so. Perhaps because, like Yuri, Natsuki is so timid and uncertain of herself. Natsuki does such a good job of hiding it that it's taken a long time for Yuri to finally realize it. And because of that, Yuri is able to deliver the reassurance that she herself would have wanted. Demonstrating that you deserve the love of others. If you can accept that for the first time, then perhaps you can begin the tumultuous journey of learning to love yourself. Another picture! Another picture! Do you really mean that? You're probably going to regret saying that if you do. How so? Because I'm probably going to have a lot of free time through the weekends from now on. So you're giving me permission to be as annoying as I want and drag you around to a lot of places. I see. But you already said it, so you can't take it back now. Why well, suppose I have no choice but accept the responsibility then? I know a good ice cream place. Oh, that means you'll finally figure out my favorite ice cream flavor. What are you talking about? Oh, you don't remember? The first day you came to the club, you guessed everyone's favorite ice cream flavor. For me, you said you had no idea. Seriously? I don't remember that at all. Oh, wait, yes, I do. I said it was probably green tea. You six your head. It's a good guess, but my favorite is usually to get chocolate and raspberry together. Chocolate and raspberry? How fancy. How is that fancy? I don't know. I feel like I should have guessed something like that. Maybe next time I'll try chocolate and raspberry. And strawberry. Hey, strawberry is my favorite. Mm hmm. What a coincidence. I think it helps to have something to look forward to. I still have the sick feeling in my stomach, but it's easier not to convince myself that I did the right thing. Is there anything better I could be doing? Not that I know of. There's nothing that will make this easy for me. My arm. <clears throat> Ooh. And you already did more than I thought anyone could. Come to think about it, we never talked about the letter you wrote. But I feel like we're way past that at this point, and I don't even know what to talk about. Except that I think it helped me understand my needs a little bit better. The way I like to be treated, and the kind of friends that I want to have. That's why I wanted to start coming here in the first place, even though I was so scared of causing more problems. I thought it was a coincidence that you ran into me here initially. Oh, uh, well, not exactly. What do you mean? Nothing. I may have tracked you down first, with the help of Sayuri. That's... but you said... I was shy, okay? I wasn't ready to like... whatever, you know what I'm saying. Well, I guess I'm glad that you worked up the courage, even if it was in your own way. I can tell that you've been making a, a lot of difficult decisions. It's brave! Don't yawn, and it will help make things better in the long run. I think anyone would be proud of you. A anyone? You mean like you? Yes, like me. You know, I could get used to this. As long as, long as you don't tease me too much. Fine. Just a little then. That's fine. I know I'll, I'll shit and everything feels to you right now, but I really do think that good things are in store. Those are my honest feelings. Thanks, it feels nice to be reassured. Together. That's it. That should be out of the mail. As a reminder to help guide our data collection, any analysis performed should be focused on answering some of these main questions. How does granting elevated access to the VM affect a person's emotional state? How does granting elevated access to the VM affect... What is this? There's a... Oh, there's a plane in my car. 
I don't know where that came from. Uh, how does granting elevated access to the VM affect a person's value and goals? How does someone effectively navigate and experiment with their ability to con to change the contents of their VM? How is elevated access being weaponized? How what actions and values will contribute to the destruction of the universe? Whoa. Most importantly, how might you your observation apply to your own universe? How can we represent this to our upper management as an operation that benefits the company? Ma'am, I don't think that's a thing that operates the benefits. I can't scroll down. There's more to see. I want to scroll down. Whoever changed the color scheme of the desktop to pink, can you please change it back into a professional and rent the risk of drawing eyes? Hmm. I just realized my mouse in the in the screen the whole time. I got more pictures. I think I got all the pictures. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. I got all the pictures there. Oh wait, I, I read that I read that wrong. It was here. Trust, respect, understanding. Trust one. Trust, respect, understanding, balance, reflection. It's not here, but I know self-love is one of them. Either way, that's all the pictures I got. I got all the pictures, which is good. Uh, poems, I got new ones. That's the one I didn't read. Tomorrow will be brighter with me around, but when I when today's dim, I can only look down. Um, my looking is a little more forward because you want to, you look at me. Uh, when I want to say something, I say with a shout, but my truest feelings can never come out. But my words are a little less empty because you listen to me. When something is above me, I reach for the stars. But when I when I when I feel some small, blah, 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 blah. but when I feel small, I don't get very far. My standing is a little bit taller because you sit with me. I believe in myself with all my heart, but what I do when it's torn all apart. My faith is a little bit stronger because you trust in me. My pen always puts my feelings to the test. I'm not a good writer, but my best is my best. My poems are a little bit dearer because you think of me. Because you, because you, because you. All right. That was when I was going 100% Natsuki. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's still one, two. Oh, I got this one. Oh, I named my pen the expression pen. My feelings are bored with the ticket to you. No room for stammers, no lies, no extra stops, no compromise, no station screaming. My attendant saying hi, one ticket to you, please and thank you. Take a headphone, a doze, no bumps in the rail, just thumps in the heart. I loops in my letters. Uh, and clouds in the sky and dreams in your heart. Hey, wake up, the train has arrived. Expression, express, destination, you, choo choo. Okay. So, final message all of Sayori, all of Natsuki, all of Monica. I did. I haven't gotten out of Yuri. Really? You think I would have? You really think I would have? That's interesting. I'm missing one of Yuri's poems. That's very interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, for the moment, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop that. I'm gonna stop it there because I'm running over time. I'm gonna try to find Yudi's last poem and then we will continue from there. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you know when I upload any new videos. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.